Imagine for a moment that God has placed a special mark on your life, a sign that you are his child, ensuring that no evil can befall you. What would this mark look like? Would it be a physical mark or something only God and you can see? As a child of God, you are marked by him, chosen, set apart, and called to a higher purpose. There are certain signs that make it evident that there is a divine mark on you. Before we continue, if this is your first time visiting this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know how and why you're marked by God, follow this video to the end. The concept of God putting a mark on you may seem abstract or hard to grasp, but it reminds us of God's love and grace for his children. It proves that God hasn't forgotten you, even though it might sometimes seem that way. Psalm 139 verse 4 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Have you ever wondered why God created everything before creating man on the sixth day? He made sure to put everything in place and make the garden conducive for man to dwell in. This shows the level of God's love for man, and that is why he created you especially in his image and likeness different from other creatures. Similarly, when you go to the store to grab some fruits, the first thing you look for is the appearance. But in this case, your physical appearance doesn't prove you're marked by God. To confirm that you have this mark, here are the signs you must look out for. Divine protection and preservation. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have God's secure blanket wrapped around you, something that will keep you safe from harm? It's like having your personal guardian angel watching over you. The Bible says that the name of God is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. When you begin to enjoy God's divine protection and preservation, it's a sign that you're marked by God. Psalm 91 3 says, Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. When God promises to protect you from deadly pestilence, it is a clear sign of his divine mark on you. It isn't limited to the physical. Divine protection encompasses physical attacks, spiritual attacks, emotional pains, and more. He said that the sun won't smite you by day, and the moon won't harm you by night. When God places a mark on you, it means you're the apple of his eye. As a result, before anything can harm you, it will have to pass through him. David benefited from this fountain of protection all the days of his life. While he was a shepherd, God protected him from different wild animals that came his way. On the battlefield, God shielded him from Goliath. After that, God preserved his life and protected him from King Saul's attacks. These are all tests of God's protection over a man he sets apart. Look at another example, Daniel. This young man found himself in captivity in a strange land, but because of God's mark upon his life, every conspiracy against him was thwarted. Even while in the lion's den, God shut the mouths of hungry lions. They could see food, yet couldn't eat. This is what happens when you're marked by God. Those who lay in wait for your blood always end up disappointed. As a parent, would you ever sit and watch your child be bullied by other children who are stronger than him? Of course not. So why would God, who loves you more than you love your child, forsake you? When you wake up every morning without attacks, do you think it's because you locked your doors? How about the spiritual attacks the devil wages against you while you sleep? Haven't you heard of people who sleep and don't wake up, even with the security surrounding them? Remember that demons don't need a physical door to get to you. The Bible says it is because of God's mercies that you aren't consumed. His compassion for you doesn't fail. If God doesn't watch over a city, the watchman watches in vain. No amount of security is enough to protect you if God's hand isn't on you. He protects you on the same path that others encounter death. It's not because you're smart. It's because God's divine mark is on you. Have you ever been to an organization for a job application and without looking at your documents, 
the management turned you down. You might have tried asking questions, yet no one cared to answer. Even after praying fervently, you weren't called back. Listen, don't get upset if this has ever happened to you. You weren't rejected. God only protected you. Maybe that wasn't where God intended for you to work, and he probably took you out of that place to preserve your life. It might sound unreasonable, but these things happen. Nonetheless, thank God for his divine mark upon your life. Because of this same mark, you're assured of divine health, supernatural provision, and fruitful harvest. Supernatural provision is like God dropping little gifts into your hands when you least expect it. When God's mark is on you, you enjoy supernatural provision and miraculous ways. Do you know that God knows what you need even before you make a request? Yes, he does. You serve a God of abundance who owns all things seen and unseen. So why would he withhold anything from you? Take a look at the birds in the air and the fish in the sea. They don't have a source of income or till the ground, yet they always have what to eat because God provides for them. Now do you realize that you are far more valuable than those birds? For God to place a mark on you, it signifies how precious you are to him. Forms of spiritual, physical, material, or emotional provision. Psalm 37.25 states, I was young and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. Imagine the child of a very wealthy man begging for food from the neighboring family. That is utterly unthinkable. Similarly, the Bible assures us that God will provide for your needs according to his riches and glory. This means that lack has no place in your life, be it food, clothing, shelter, or finances. God will supply all your needs. Remember how he provided for the Israelites in the wilderness. They journeyed for years through a barren land with no natural sources of food or water, yet he sustained them. He rained manna from heaven and caused water to flow from a rock. Such miraculous provisions are only possible with God. When you bear the mark of God, he blesses you with a bountiful harvest, even in a barren land. When others struggle to find sustenance, you will have more than enough to eat. Divine Recognition and Favor Divine recognition and favor are like receiving special treatment from God himself. When you carry God's mark, it's as though you have a seal that sets you apart for special blessings. Imagine going through life with the assurance that God's eyes are always on you, guiding and protecting you. When you are marked by God, people start noticing you and showering you with unexpected favors. It's like you are suddenly the star in a territory that isn't yours. Doors open left and right, and everyone suddenly wants to be part of your story. This kind of recognition and favor is a sure sign that you carry the mark of God. Deuteronomy 32.13 says, He made him ride on the heights of the land and fed him with the fruit of the field. He nourished him with honey from the rock and with oil from the flinty crag. Now, personalize the scripture as one carrying the mark of God. Do you know how difficult it is to get honey from a rock? As sweet as honey is, you might not want to go through the kind of stress to get it. But guess what? When you are marked by God, he nourishes you with honey from the rock. It means not giving up in the face of adversity, knowing that God is fighting your battles, even when circumstances seem impossible. You hold on to the promise that with God, all things are possible. Your victories are a reflection of your trust and reliance on God's power and grace. This resilience is evident in the lives of biblical figures like Job, who despite immense suffering, remained steadfast in his faith and ultimately experienced restoration and victory. Ultimately, when you are marked by God, every aspect of your life becomes a testament to his glory. Your victories, big and small, reflect his hand upon you and his unwavering love for you. You walk in confidence, knowing that you are not alone, 
and that God's divine mark sets you apart for a life of triumph and fulfillment. Your relationship reflects Christ's nature. Another sure sign that you're marked by God is the overflowing love that fills your heart. This love spills over to others. God's love is always shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit, empowering you to love, forgive freely, and show compassion to those in need. A Christ-centered relationship is like a flower planted by the riverside, something beautiful and rare. When you're marked by God, His love and divine nature reflect in the way you relate with people. You're able to love freely and live at peace with everyone. Imagine if everyone in your neighborhood knows you to be a troublesome person. Do you think it's possible to draw someone to Christ through that lifestyle? Jesus Christ lived an exemplary life while on earth. The Bible never recorded that he got into a fight with anybody. Instead, he always brought reconciliation to every hopeless situation he encountered. In a Christ-centered relationship, you're not loving someone because they're beautiful, good, or easy to be with. Your love for them isn't even because they love you too. It is simply because you recognize that they are made in the image of God. If Jesus waited to receive love in return, he would never have died for the sins of the world. Remember that the Bible says you should live in peace with all men. That is a necessity, and you must obey that instruction. Against all odds, Reflecting Christ's nature in your relationships means embodying patience, kindness, humility, and forgiveness. It means being slow to anger and quick to listen. It means seeking to understand before being understood. When you carry the mark of God, your interactions with others become a testimony of His grace and love. Consider the impact of your relationships on those around you. When others see you handling conflicts with grace and offering forgiveness where others might seek revenge, they witness the transformative power of Christ's love in action. Your life becomes a living testimony to the reality of God's love. This kind of love is infectious and can draw others to seek the source of your peace and compassion. In addition, a Christ-centered relationship means putting others before yourself, just as Christ did. It involves sacrificing your own desires and comfort to serve others. It means being there for a friend in need, offering a shoulder to cry on, and providing support even when it is inconvenient. Furthermore, embodying Christ's nature in your relationships involves a deep level of humility. Jesus, though he was God, humbled himself to serve humanity. In your relationships, you too are called to serve others with humility recognizing that every person you meet is precious in God's eyes. This humility allows you to see others as equals, deserving of the same respect and love that God shows you. Living in peace with all men, as the Bible instructs, also means letting go of grudges and choosing reconciliation over division. It means seeking to heal broken relationships and being a peacemaker in your community. This peacemaking reflects the heart of God, who desires unity and harmony among his people. Furthermore, reflecting Christ's nature in your relationships means being a source of encouragement and support, just as Jesus lifted up those around him. You are called to build up others with your words and actions. Encouragement can be a powerful testament to God's love, providing strength and hope to those who are struggling. Lastly, a Christ-centered relationship is characterized by an unwavering commitment to truth and integrity. Jesus was always truthful, even when it was difficult. In your relationships, you are called to be honest and trustworthy, upholding the truth in love. This integrity builds trust and fosters deeper, more meaningful connections with others. In essence, when you are marked by God, your relationships become a reflection of His love and grace. You become a vessel through which His love flows to others, transforming lives and drawing people closer to Him. This is the true essence of living a life marked by God, being a beacon of His love in a world that desperately needs it, boldness and confidence.
Boldness and confidence are proof of the Holy Spirit's presence in your life, and the Holy Spirit can only be present in your life when you're marked by God. The first manifestation of the Holy Spirit was on the day of Pentecost, when he rested on the disciples, giving them the boldness to begin their ministry. When the Holy Spirit is in you, you also manifest this boldness. When you're marked by God, you're confident that he is with you. This confidence isn't arrogant or boastful. It's a humble, quiet strength that comes from knowing that God is your source and shield. You're not afraid to take risks or step out in faith. Do you know why? Because you know that God is working through you to bring glory to his name. When you're marked by God, boldness and confidence don't come from your own abilities or strengths. They come from knowing that God is with you and that he is the one who gives you the power to overcome any obstacle. Dear child of God, realizing that you carry a divine mark is something you must fully embrace. Why? It's a powerful reminder of your unique identity as one chosen and set apart by God for a special purpose. This divine mark distinguishes you from the world, empowering you to live a life that reflects his love, grace, and truth. As you experience the countless blessings that come from carrying this mark, always remember to give thanks to God. Have no regrets about leaving the darkness behind. Rejoice instead, and thank God for placing his divine mark upon you for your good. Remember, there are different types of marks in scripture. Cain received a mark from God after taking his brother's life, but it was not a mark of favor. It was a sign of punishment ensuring he would wander the earth without being killed. Imagine if God placed a mark on you as a form of punishment. How devastating that would be. Thankfully, God's mark on your life is for a good purpose, to guide you and bring glory to his name. However, this mark isn't permanent by default. Its longevity depends on your faithfulness, much like a contract. If you breach the terms, you risk losing it. God never intended for man to face hardship, but disobedience caused humanity to lose the divine protection. Your goal now should be to remain marked by God in everything you do, living a life that reflects his character. Boldness and confidence in the Lord. Being marked by God calls for stepping out in boldness, knowing that his presence is with you. Boldness doesn't mean being confrontational. It's about standing firm in your faith sharing your testimony, and being a light in a world that needs God's love. Your life should be one that consistently reflects Christ's nature, and people should see God's character in your actions. Integrity and Uprightness The divine mark you carry also requires a lifestyle of integrity and moral uprightness. Humility, patience, kindness, and love should radiate through you, reflecting God's grace. As you continue to nurture your relationship with God, through prayer, worship, and study of His Word, His mark on your life will be evident to all. Responsibility of the Divine Mark Being marked by God is a privilege, but it's also a responsibility. You are called to represent Him on earth living in such a way that others are drawn to him through you. The Holy Spirit is your helper, empowering you to fulfill this divine calling with boldness and confidence, living a life of purpose and impact. Ultimately, being marked by God means living a life of purpose. You are called to be a source of hope, encouragement, and love to those around you. As you continue to walk in this divine mark, Know that you are fulfilling God's plan for your life and bringing glory to his name. Here are three important principles to live by. One, make holiness. Your lifestyle righteousness exalts a nation and holiness is non-negotiable for those marked by God. To keep this mark, you must live a life that rejects sin and embraces God's ways. Drawing near to God through prayer and scripture will empower you to resist temptation and stay aligned with his will. Second, let humility be your watchword. Humility is the hallmark of Christianity, yet it is often practiced by only a few. 
True humility doesn't mean weakness or timidity. It means setting aside pride and relying on God. Jesus modeled humility, and as his follower, you are called to do the same. Humility protects you from the pitfalls of pride, which led King Nebuchadnezzar to his downfall. When you walk in humility, you allow God to work mightily through you. 3. Continue relying on God, trusting in God with all your heart, without relying on your own understanding, is key to remaining marked by Him. Relying on God shows that you recognize Him as the source of all good things, and it involves surrendering every aspect of your life to His will. As you continue to rely on God, you will witness miraculous signs and wonders in your life. Stay spiritually attuned to recognize these signs and follow His leading. If you are marked by God, it is for your benefit. But stepping away from that mark will bring consequences. Your actions will determine whether you stay under His protection. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, the bright and morning star, I honor your name because you are God. Thank you for your Lordship over my life. I am grateful for the gift of this day and for shielding me from my enemies. Thank you for placing your divine mark upon my life. I lift your name in worship, acknowledging that I am yours because of your mercy. Please forgive me for any sins I've committed and let your mercy wash over me. I come before you in gratitude for your love and grace. Lord, help me to live in a way that testifies to your goodness. Let your divine mark on my life be evident in all I do, and guide me to walk in the fullness of my identity as your child. Lord, strengthen me to live a life of holiness, humility, and faithfulness. Empower me by your Holy Spirit, and help me to embrace the responsibilities that come with carrying your mark. May I be a beacon of hope and love to those around me, and may my life bring glory to your name. Thank you, Lord for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. If this video has spoken to you, please like, subscribe, and share with others who need to hear this message. Share your journey in the comments below and how you are preparing for your triumphant return. Don't stop here. Watch our next video to discover the signs that reveal you are the chosen one. Keep shining brightly and embrace your destiny with courage. See you next time.